This is the accessory fuse block available at slingmods.com. If you have this item, you already know it makes it much more convenient to install electrical accessories on your slingshot. However, it's designed to run 10 amp circuits, and when the horn's in use, it draws 20 amps. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to run the power wire from the horn back to the battery. All you really need for this install is a wire crimper and stripper and a 13 millimeter wrench. If you have those items, Let's get started. You're going to install the horn's mounting bolt into this existing hole in the subframe that houses the center headlights. Let's come in for a closer look. Place the bolt in from the front and then thread the nut onto the back. As you can see, I just turned the nut a few threads onto the bolt because we still need room to mount our horn. This is the mounting bolt we just installed. Above that you'll see a threaded hole. It'll have a bolt in it if you have the stock air box. Take the ring terminal end of your ground wire and install it here. Once you've installed the wire, be sure to route it through the light support. If you turn the horn upside down, you'll see two terminals, positive and negative. You'll be able to tell the difference by the little symbol that's next to each terminal. The positive terminal will have a little plus symbol, and the negative terminal will have a little negative symbol. Now, connect the ground wire to the negative terminal on the bottom of the horn. And then set the horn onto the mounting bolt. This is your wiring harness. Find this positive lead that connects to the bottom of your horn. It's the only one that looks just like this. Now install the connector from your wiring harness onto the positive terminal on the horn. Now, using a 13 millimeter wrench, tighten the nut to secure the horn in place. Be sure to mount the horn straight up and down as I've shown you here. The horn isn't designed to operate in any other orientation, and if you do, you could cause damage to the bearings inside the compressor. At this point, you'll be looking at three main connectors left on the wiring harness. Two of them that are paired together, and one larger one that's attached to the battery wire. Take the paired connectors and route them nearby the factory horn of the slingshot. Now unplug the connector to the factory horn and plug that into the wiring harness. Then take the other connector from the wiring harness and plug it into the factory horn. Per the instructions, this is the mounting location for the relay. Let's take a closer look at this area so I can show you how I installed it. Here's the relay. As you can see, there's a hole in the tab right here. I'm going to mount the relay here in this position. As you can see, there's also a hole right here that I can pass this zip tie through. I'm going to pass the zip tie through that hole and through the hole in the tab on the relay. Then I'm going to hold the relay in place and tighten the zip tie. Now you can route your other connector from your wiring harness and plug it into your relay. What you'll have left is this red wire that routes back to the battery. If you'll notice, there's a hole under the hood latch that'll allow you to route this into the cabin of the slingshot. Let's take a closer look. 
Finish by routing the red wire between the plastic panels behind the driver's seat as you can see here. You should then be able to see the red wire exposed inside the battery compartment. Next, take your fuse holder and crimp the supplied butt connector to one side. Then crimp the large ring terminal to the other side. Strip a little insulation to expose some bare wire and then attach your fuse holder by crimping your butt connector onto the end. Then install the ring terminal end to the positive battery cable and then reinstall your battery cable. Then place the cap over the fuse. Then you can power it up and test your horn. It works. That's all there is to it. Just reinstall the plastic panel for your battery and you're good to go. Don't forget to also cover the power wire with some split loom. Should cost you less than a buck, it'll look better, and it's cheap insurance. Now if you want to purchase this item, it's available right here. 